All right, so what's going on, family? We're going to talk about this today. Bitcoin goes up. Coinbase goes up. Simple, right? It's in sync. Coinbase bear camp shrinks further as analysts says stocks rally could continue. So now these bears, the ones who shorted Coinbase, are now flipping and turning to a bull. Because they see that the momentum in Coinbase stock, look at the chart, is massively bullish. Imagine if you had been the individual trying to short the mess out of Coinbase. You have been eaten up. Yeah, the bulls has been tearing you apart because the market is not going down. It's going up instead. Now, a lot of this hype could be because of the recent Bitcoin spot ETF approval by the SEC. It could be because the lawsuit that the SEC has against Coinbase is not going to win. It's not going to bode well for the SEC and Coinbase may become victorious. It could be because Coinbase is trying to get up outside the jurisdiction of the United States and they are trying to innovate around cryptocurrency to bring in more revenue. It's a lot of things that could justify the cause as to why Coinbase is going up in price. That is why we don't focus on the cause. We simply look at the reaction, what is going on in the market. And currently we can all see that the market is bullish. So why come through and buck the trend? It's not a good thing to do. We follow trend. We follow market, period. We're not going to be lopsided in our thinking about what the price should do, where it should it go. Why is it going up? Why is it going down? We don't care the reason why. We just can see it. And if that's the direction, then that's the team we're going to go with. All right. So here's the article right here from Market Watch. Monistar grabbed it and placed it on their website. Written by Emily Berry. Shares are up 46% this year in Coinbase. And Raymond James says current momentum may persist absent of tapering off of flows into spot Bitcoin ETF. So according to Raymond, he's thinking that Coinbase can continue to go higher if there isn't a lax of money flowing into spot Bitcoin ETFs. If that happens, then we may see a dip in Coinbase price. That's what Raymond is trying to tell us. The bear camp on Coinbase Global Shares continues to get smaller. Uh, duh. Because those bears are looking at the price chart. They can all see, dang, this stock continues to go higher. I'm wanting to go down in order for me to make money. I need to see the stock go down. And the every day seemingly looks like the price in coin is going up. So they're like, all right, cool. I, I give up. I'm losing too much money. So let me get about the way. More pessimistic analysts have cut their bait as the stock continues its explosive march upwards. Now, just six of the 28 analysts covering Coinbase have a bearish rating on the stock. According to FactSet, at the end of January, 11 out of 27 analysts were bearish. Here it is, March the 13th. And that has dwindled down to just six. The new count reflects that Patrick O'Shaughnessy of Raymond James abandoned his negative call Tuesday. So now he has flipped, moving to a market perform rating from his prior underperform stance. He acknowledged, talking about Patrick, that he, quote, clearly underappreciated the impact. Oh, clearly. That chart is what he's talking about. Clear as day. <laughs> that he underappreciated the strength of the market in Coinbase. Uh, duh. After the fact, you can clearly see that what he thought Coinbase stock should do, it wasn't going to do it. That the recent launch of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds would have on cryptocurrency prices that crypto rally has helped improve coinbase own volumes and take its shares 46 percent higher on the year patrick goes on to say quote until 
exchange traded product, Bitcoin spot ETFs, flows taper, fall back, or reverse. People start taking profit from the Bitcoin spot ETF. They start selling their ETF shares. We suspect the stock's current momentum may persist. End quote. Now, this is what I want you all to see and understand is that even these Wall Street analysts, the one who gets a paycheck from these financial institutions, they get it wrong all the time. So don't try to hurt yourself, beat yourself up men mentally and say, why am I always getting this wrong? Look, they get it wrong, too, even with the billions of dollars at their disposal to conduct research, to have programs, software, algorithms to look out and search the Internet to determine, OK, what will this stock do? Even they get it wrong. So don't hurt yourself, beat yourself up as I cannot understand the stock market. If they can't get it right with all of the money that they have with all of the resource capabilities that they have, then don't feel as if you're not doing it right. Because one thing that Patrick doesn't say in this article is that what time frame does he have to substantiate that the flows going into the spot Bitcoin ETS will be reduced? Is he saying in the next year, two years, six months? like? understand he is looking at that as well because that's probably when he's going to switch from saying that this momentum that coinbase is currently on he'll switch and go back into a bear and his and his analysis would change from being now market perform he's going to switch it back to underperform that's why it's so hard for individual retail investors to pay attention to what these Wall Street analysts are doing. And most of the time, it's always after the fact. Because if you listen to Patrick, you missed out on fantastic move higher. You did. So we did a price prediction in Coinbase, though. You guys can see it right there towards the ending of February. Looking for the market to give us that movement higher. It did hit our ultimate TV price on March the 8th. That is around 35 and three quarters. OK, now look at this. It's not a coincidence that the market in Coinbase is getting rejected at our sales zone. Like we talked about this numerous times. That's not a surprise. Now, the question is, will the buyers, will Patrick, who is now looking for the momentum to continue, will it allow Coinbase to break above that sell zone? How can, how can we see? What is the probabilities of that occurring? Look at this. You have to look longer term to see what is the probability. So right here on the weekly chart, the week of February 26th, we got an indication of strength. The week of March the 4th, we got another indication of strength of Coinbase being bullish. The only problem that I don't like is where the market closed on last week. Yes, we got the strength indicator. But we close off of the high of the bar. I don't like that. That tells me that sellers hit the market in Coinbase. So you can see we're trading at prices that we haven't been in since 2021. Three years, almost three years. We haven't seen the price in Coinbase hit 200 something dollars per share. Crazy, right? Do you think we're about to top out in Coinbase? Because at some point, the market will top out at some point. The market will stop going higher. What do you think? We still got that indication of strength here on the two weeks. Here are the three. The monthly time frame. The five day chart. It is on the three. I do acknowledge that there is selling hit in the stock right now. So wouldn't it be crazy that this article right here from Market Watch, March the 12th, actually was the high of Coinbase, and now we begin, we'll begin to see the market in Coinbase begin to go lower. Wouldn't that be crazy? It shows you how late Patrick would be in his analysis of Coinbase.
So you can see right here that this is on the hourly chart. We're, we're getting buyers hitting the stock right around here. Okay, so that's gonna be important. That's gonna be real important for us to get a gist and understanding that this market is still bullish. We need to see these buyers hold that. They did it already twice. So they're not lying to us. And I'm talking about the buyers. The buyers aren't lying. They actually put money on the line when Coinbase fell down to like $240. They did it twice. And they brought the market back up. So yeah, that's a pretty strong buying right in that zone. So what I want to do is I want to wait to really see how strong Coinbase is at that sell zone. Okay. But yeah, currently, I mean, the idea is still that this stock is bullish. But I think we may see a little bit of weakness and move it to the downside. And that's what I want to wait for before I drop a price prediction. So let me hold these buy zones there. Let me go ahead and make this one too. Get rid of that one. So we'll keep our eyes on these buy zones here. Go ahead and give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability, and as always, trade different.